Then get up. You're sitting on the beer. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Archer fans. Third Street Reactions is back with young Tom. Shane. Oh, okay. And we are back with Archer Season 2. We're already on Episode 4, guys. Episode 4. Before we get talking about the previous episode a little bit, Shane, explain this to the... Our, uh, our tablecloth is in the wash right now, so uh, we just threw down the Star Wars blanket that I grew up with. I actually like it quite a bit. Maybe we'll keep it. I don't know. By the way, look at that mug. Wow. What a good... What a good product placement. Anyways, last episode, we had a paternity test. I think it was I called think called paternity test. Do you remember that, buddy? Yeah. So, do you remember the name of, uh, <laughs> it's not a hooker. What does Archer say it's called? It's a hooker when she's dead. It's a hooker when she's dead. It's a hooker when she's dead. Okay, but he called it a call girl. I don't remember her name. I remember the baby's name, though, because I kept laughing about it. Yeah. I'm still laughing about yeah. it, thinking about it. Baby Seamus. Seamus. Yeah, Seamus. Well, the call girl is Trinette. Trinette. Uh, and there's just a, a lot of funny little things about the episode. They talk about SEP IRAs, and they mention, I'm pretty sure, I mean, they mention Kenny Loggins all the time, mm -hmm. Archer's favorite singer. And also, uh, who is his favorite actor? Uh, it's something they've referenced multiple times. It's like they, ha they had the movie Gator. They had that one movie from the 70s where they, these guys, they raped that one guy. I can't remember what it's called. They used to make him squeal like a pig. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, it, it's, I, I, yeah, I haven't seen the movie, but Huckleberry showed me that scene when I was in high school. Yeah, it won all these awards. No, it was a funny episode because his mom was kind of pleading to him, like, don't, having a child is a great thing, and he's like, I don't know if I'm ready. So he ends up switching it anyways, even though he had that heartfelt talk, and Lana walked in, and Lana was, like, hearing his mother talk. Right. And it made her, it was it was activating the kind of that, those maternal instincts to have a baby, I think, and obviously there is a window of time. Uh, where a woman is actually the most fertile. And the older they get, obviously that window starts to close. But it was like this emotional moment. But he switched the DNA, and do you remember what happened? Well, and correct me if I'm wrong, but... He switches it with someone's. Aren't we Cyril's? Yeah, he switched with Cyril's. Yeah. Uh, so it goes to show that Cyril is the father of Jeanette. Yeah. Which is, you know, they, the only interaction we had... I was going to say, did we know that they slept together? No, we only saw one interaction. It's when he was training Cyril for field work. Yeah. But he was actually just kind of trying to sabotage him. Right. And they met in that apartment. And that was it. And then she ended up that getting was the shot episode. with that dart and they put her in yeah. the trunk. That yeah. was the episode that <laughs> I keep thinking about the butler going, my knees. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Before we jump in, just let you know, you can watch the full length uncut reaction to this and, and the next four episodes. They're up there right now. So you don't have to wait. Uh, anyways, guys, we appreciate everyone watching this. I, I really love this show. And uh, now that he has a baby Seamus, do you think the show, do you think like the show is going to change? Like usually the status quo of a show has to go back to normal. Do you think the status quo is going to change? I think it's going to have to a little bit, right? Like I feel like you can't introduce the child into the picture, whether it legitimately is archers or not, uh, without there being at least a dynamic change mm -hmm. with the characters. Yeah, there's, it, it's weird. So um, there's 14 seasons of this, I think. So are, are, are we going to have, like, this baby Seamus grow up and, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I don't understand. Appreciate you. And we're going to jump into Season 2, Episode 4, now. New Orleans is my kind of town, and I haven't had a vacation in forever. Well, that's great. Nola! The easy. Our mission is to stop an eco-terrorist from blowing up the biggest natural gas pipeline in North America. Sir, can you find your seat for me? Uh, yeah, it's right there. Can you go find some more hurricanes for me? Hippies aren't the only people who care about the environment. I happen to care. A lot. And so does our target, Joshua Gray, a.k.a. Gandalf. His name's Gandalf? And he's not a hippie? Gray's an ex-Green Beret, and he's attacked nuclear power plants, hydroelectric dams, whaling ships. Whaling ships? What, he's against clean-burning lamp oil? Would you relax? We know he's going to try to attack the pipeline, and we know where the pipeline is. Yeah, running through a couple hundred miles of marshy wetlands. So mobility will be key, Lana. Why would he blow it up during, in the middle of wetlands? Lana, just like Burt right. Reynolds and White Lightning. Great. Not just... to mention Gator, Archer. which even though it's the sequel, I think is actually the stronger of the two films. Just Burt Reynolds. Yep. Check this out. I still borrowed it from Woodhouse. Archer, what the shit? Right? It's just like in Gator. God, God! Oh. Drop it, drop it! You drop it! Lana, hijack it! Damn it, it's not a hijack. Oh, great, there better be more of those. Sky Marshal, oh. drop your oh. weapon! Oh, okay, relax, it's okay. Da, We're da, 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 Sterling da. Archer and Lana Kane are on a mission to stop an eco-terrorist from da, 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 blowing da. up a gas pipeline. It's <laughs> up for the love of God, woman. Go <laughs> That guy's like, what? 
runs right underneath these swamps, supplying almost 20% of America's liquid natural gas demand. Right. But there's a pig launcher here. Is that what it sounds like? It's a pipe inspection gauge for cleaning the pipeline. Uh -huh. It's the only section above ground. So if Gray wants to attack our pipeline... You'll have to do it there. Right. Uh, Archer. Okay, so the po' boy the Hello? Wow, speaking of disastrous... Speaking of shut up! It's from think about what will happen to those fragile order. wetlands if that pipeline explodes. Screw the damn swamps. Think of what happened to Ampeco's profit margin. What? Mm. Recycling old batteries? Exactly. Don't we do that already? Um... <laughs> Pretty much. Good, because I'm not leaving... Thirty acres of wetlands disappear every single day, but all you care about is how much natural gas you can pump out. Hey, we're just supplying a demand. Yeah, and Petco's demand for huge profits. Some of those huge profits are paying ISIS to protect that pipeline. Which I'm only doing for the wetlands. Wetlands, profits, whatever. Yeah, sounds like a win-win. <laughs> just get it. I don't think room service is coming. Look, this is kind of an emergency. Can we work something out? Maybe. If you use that money to buy a time machine, go back in time and be the first person to reserve that boat. You sure about that? <laughs> yeah. That's good, because I've waited my entire life to say this exact phrase. <laughs> I'm commandeering this airboat. Sorry! Woo! It really is an emergency! Of an awesome and ass-kicky nature. And some damn guard dog you is. <laughs> <laughs> For God's sake, Pam! Have you no sense of decency? That bathroom's like a, a war crime. Don't blame me, it's a new low-flow toilet. With the old ones, you can flush what a dachshund time? puppy. And next time, use the d d d women's restroom. The... The what? <gasps> Thanks, Cyril. <laughs> <laughs> that bathroom's a war crime. <laughs> Seriously, Lana, this must be what it's like to have sex with me. How can an airboat be selfish? No, can't hear you. I'm too happy. You can't hear me because you're redlining the engine. Serious, Archer, if you don't slow down... I'll keep feeling so fun to ride one of those. I just don't like the idea of it breaking down. There's gators everywhere in this place. I am not gonna blow the... Did you idiot. Oh my gosh. There's a grill on it. Yeah, screw that. Mm -mm. No, no, by all means, let me do this, Lana. You just sit there like the African queen. The African queen was the boat. Oh, was it? It was Audrey, Catherine. whichever Hepburn. She was the queen. Of Africa. Yeah. The white queen of Africa. Yeah, back then, Hollywood was pretty weird about the whole race thing. Like Amos and Andy were white. I do really wish there was a gator. Hey, come on, not even as a joke, Lana. It so wasn't. Look, I said I was sorry. Tell all this wildlife your story. Mm. Mm. Everything out here either wants to eat me or give me malaria. And B. <laughs> Let's set up a defensive perimeter. Yeah, right after I set up the grill. Damn it, Archer, we just. Hey, I just dragged this damn boat through a mile of my three biggest fears, so I think I burned a kebab. Look at me chopping ice for a Tom Collins like a field hand. But I. <laughs> a field hand? <laughs> But the slightest reduction of power to my lab could put lives at risk. Lives of what? A few lab rats? Jesus, dude. That's... Oh. So, yes. God knows what kind of parasites are swimming around in it. Not swamp water, you ass bottled! Oh, you are shitting me. I know, right? A rainbow should shoot out every time you open it. You didn't bring any water? Where would I have put it? Great, I'll just <laughs> wait a half an hour for a cup of ice to melt. No, 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 don't, don't, don't. Ow, shit! Touch it. What the f shit is this? No, 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 Lana! Ow! It's dry ice! <laughs> Hurry, put your hands in the swamp! <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Dabby pissed. Because dry ice is something crazy, like <laughs> negative 100 degrees. I need you to not talk to me. And say hi to Sister Morphine. Morphine? Damn it, I don't need... Oh. Yeah? Yeah. It actually feels way better. Good. Then get up. You're sitting on the beer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so 
What's in here? Nothing soon if people like you keep destroying the environment. What? It's one lousy fish. One lousy black rhino, one lousy Bengal tiger. One lousy Lorax. What? Since when are you such a radical environmentalist? I'm not radical. Well, I mean, not anymore. But back in the day... Fur is murder! Fur is murder! It's murder! How's Bert it feel to be murder. a murderer? Bert is... Shall we find out? <laughs> Then how would you like a job? Three oh. weeks later, I was in Tunisia, killing a different man. It looked like Angela Davis had a love child with Sweet Lou Dunbar. Shut up. You shut up. I'm trying to catch us some There's so many there. cultural references. I don't know them all. I know. Come here, fishy, fishy. And while you eat humble pie with a side of crow, Lana, I will be dining on trout. Oh, jeez. Man. So now it's okay? What happened to your fragile ecosystem? That's huge. What is that? What is that sound? Oh, you are shitting me. How did you shoot the boat? Because I was bucking around like a rodeo clown in a barrel. Well, did you at least hit the gator? <laughs> I don't know. You only brought two shells? No, I brought shitloads, thank you. Well, where are they? With your guns and... Go, you can get those. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's how brainstorming works, Lana. It's freeform. You come up with a lot of ideas. Yeah, like using the pipeline to set the entire swamp on fire. Bad idea, but it got me thinking about chemical reactions. Like alcohol's effect on the brain? Like the reaction between <laughs> solid carbon dioxide, also known as dry ice, of which we have plenty. Water? Water. Combine them in a sealed container, and you've got Some yourself... Some kind of dry ice bomb? Oh, yes, ruiner of explanations. I was building to that, but yes. Well, we got plenty of water. No, the swamp's too dirty. It's full of whatever alligators shit out, which I can only assume is people. They don't eat people. They eat people all the time. They don't... Last year, Sarasota County, Florida, Chet Willard, age 16, swimming in the Oak River Canal, killed by an 11-footer. Two years ago, Chatham County, Georgia. Three years ago, Dade County... Archer! What? What are your three biggest fears? <sighs> Archer. Alligators, by far the biggest. And so, you've memorized every fatal alligator attack? Just in the U.S. I can't find any information on attacks in China. They only live here in China. Two different species. Chinese alligators are smaller, but their bellies are fully armored, so it kind of equals out and... Can we change the subject? Okay, what's <laughs> your second biggest fear? God, will you It's crocodiles, okay? Wait, do crocodiles even live here? Not here, here, but in the Everglades. That's like a thousand miles away. Well, three years ago, they caught a nine-foot croc in the surf at Myrtle Beach. Not sure I even want to know what your third biggest... Brain fear. aneurysm. What? <laughs> What does a brain aneurysm have to do with walking around in a swamp? Nothing. It can happen anywhere at any time. That's why it's so terrifying. Oh, my God. So, if it... I'm just going to use this. Whoa! There was bottled water in there the whole time? Yes. Sorry, I <laughs> forgot. You forgot. Okay, what's your biggest fear? New. Nope. Come on, I told you mine. I know. You lose. I think your biggest fear is intimacy. Ha! How long does that take? Depends on how much water you add. We're gonna need to dial it in. So you have no idea when that's gonna go off. How could I? No shit! A small... Don't! Miracles! Arr! How long was that? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to time it! It's okay. I forgot to measure it. <laughs> so we're both gonna need to do better. Yeah, I love this. Yeah, yeah this is cool. Every last one of those why do I have to carry the toilets? You know why. Because of the things that come <laughs> out of your body. Oh, shut up, Mr. Big Mouth. Telling it we have a women's bathroom where I better <laughs> never it. catch you again. Yeah, there we go. All right, I think we got this recipe figured out. That was actually pretty great. Duh. Shut up. You shut up. I would have been here sooner, but you stole my boat. Do you not understand how reservations work? Reserve <laughs> this, tree beard. Hi, Josh. Hello, Lana. You know each other? Josh was my environmental policy TA when I was in college. And her lover. <laughs> what the? <laughs> what the? Also, yes. Wait, I thought he was a Green Beret. I went to grad school on the GI Bill, and that's when I realized I had to lead the fight against the systematic rape of Mother Nature. Do you really think the ends justify such violent means? Yes, because this is a war, and victory will only come when Americans stop the alligator's gonna get him. Oh my god, that's depressing. Sorry. 
And I'm also sorry we can't let you blow up this pipeline. I wasn't going to. Well, then why? I mean, I was, but I saw you with this idiot yelling on the plane about working for ISIS. Yeah, so technically I saved the pipeline. Yeah, you're the best. Yeah, whatever. I win. Suck it, Samwise. Archer! So, you need a Rabana? Maybe we can grab dinner. See some Dixieland jazz? That sounds lovely. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? You're really going to leave me out here? Yep. <laughs> I like your new hairdo, by the way. Well, if you like the collar, you're going to love the cuffs. Well, that's just great. Look at this get any... Let me finish. <laughs> Worse. Now, okay. You ruined the moment. I loved that episode. That was funny. Mm -hmm. Like, it, it didn't have, like, the highest funny moments, but I actually enjoyed the story. Like, him and Lana and, what, Louisiana? Or wherever they were, were they in yeah, Florida? New Orleans, yeah. You get to see some of Lana, a little bit of her backstory a little more. Yeah, she was a... She's like an environmentalist or like something. A kind of like a radical environmentalist, but not an eco-terrorist. But just yeah. an environmentalist. Like, you know, like those dumbasses uh, ruining, like, some of this priceless art. You yeah. know, gluing their hands and shit to it. You know, like that, these these freaking fools, they were in, uh, I can't remember where they were. But they, they glued their hands to the, the floor, like of this car dealership. So you know what they did? They just fucking trust life and left them there <laughs> for like the weekend. And they were like, they were shitting themselves and they, they, they were like dehydrated. There's just gotta be a better way. Because I think it just, it just mobilizes the opposite point of view in a way to where they become more extreme. Well, and then we found out that, that uh, you know, Look what's that's, how, that's how Lana got offered a job. Yeah, that's how Just... she got offered a job. Her and her afro. And she was, whatever his name was. They Josh. Call, Josh, they call him Gandalf. You remember the, remember the analyst here? There's a fat guy with blonde hair. He's yeah. a Lord of the Rings fan. So he's the analyst. And I've been listening to Andrew Bustamani. I always, yeah, but those analysts, they do all that back work. So he probably did all that back work and just named him Gandalf. And that happened off screen, but because we're learning about the world, we can kind of make that assumption. Right. So I think that's, that's kind of cool. Point. Uh, what'd you like about this, bud? Um, the story. Yeah, well, okay. Do you remember um, Archer's three three fears? Yeah. Brain aneurysm, gators, and crocodiles. Yeah. In that order? No. Gators, crocodiles, brain aneurysm. Brain aneurysm. Yeah. Uh, so, um, yeah, alligators, wait a minute, what the hell? Alligators live in the U.S., crocodiles live everywhere else. Yeah. Did he say that there were crocs in the Everglades? Yeah. Just coming I, from the ocean? And I heard that, too, that somehow crocs have been introduced in the okay. southern part of the United States. Because when I lived in Florida, there was, there was an alligator in our pool. Well, alligators are, live in the U.S., but crocs yeah. don't live in the U.S. He was saying they live in the Everglades. Yeah. So they've been introduced, is what you're saying. Alligator or croc in your pool? Alligator. Okay. And um, an invasive species of uh, pythons, I guess, have started taking over in Florida, too. Hey, Louise. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, but funny things about this episode. We had that hick-ass guy running the... Dude. The airboat. <laughs> I don't know why they call it an airboat, but, an air, like, you know, the airboat... What does Lana like, say to him? Like, would it, maybe we can uh, persuade you with money or something like that. He's like, well, maybe if you can pay to go back in time and be the first one to reserve that boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah that's freaking hilarious, dude. He was rocking the rebel flag, dude, which is, you know, that's a an antiquitous uh, thing you should should rock. Yeah, I'm he, sorry. He had short shorts. And... Yeah, I, I know people, because a rebel flag and a confederate flag are actually different, but they become synonymous. Yeah, yeah. And even if, like, you do not rock it for any kind of racist, we grew up in a small town, you know, at our high school, there were people rocking it, and you were friends with a lot of these guys, and yeah. you're black, and you, you didn't give a shit, but these people, they were rocking it because the rebel flag has li literally like a rebel against the establishment, but there's all kinds of, especially now, because right. it's, you know, obviously the racial conversation is actually just much more intense now and i think people are much more racist now on both sides yeah it just fit though with uh kind of the persona of what he was supposed to be right yeah like... just some hick ass son of a bitch you know <laughs> <laughs> and his dog died <laughs> dude like it's fucking hilarious i think the funniest line in this what do you think it is that cereal said it oh with what? pam with the uh, oh, she blew up the bathroom war crime, war he war called crime. it a war crime <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Krieger has clones in his... Yeah, they're all, like, mutated and yeah. three eyeballs and... Yeah. Oh, my gosh. And Archer, we have to remember, he's a pretty good agent. Yeah, I have spot. that marked down on my yeah. to talk about list. Like, he's smart. Mixing dry ice and water? Yeah, I didn't know he's that. A, yeah. He's a very, very intelligent, competent yeah. field agent. Yeah. He just 
you know. He's, but he's so shoot from the hip, so it seems it's so cavalier that it feels sometimes like this guy doesn't have his shit together, but that's just a part of his style. Yeah, no, like he's, he's an experienced agent. He's so competent that he can be cavalier. Right. And he can uh, improvise so much. Right. Yeah. When it comes to environment, it's I am huge on animals and nature, obsessively. Um, I want to call myself a radical environmentalist. Um, and, you know, I, I've, I've followed kind of global warming closely. I mean, there's many, many, many climate scientists who believe that there's no doubt that, uh, that climate change occurs. Right now, uh, we're exiting an ice age. Uh, it, it's just really interesting. In the 1970s, um, they, uh, climate scientists, they were, there were hundreds of them in consensus that all the data said that we were going to hit another ice age, that everything is cooling down. And they were like, you you know, you must believe us. And then there were even organizations and politicians who were using that, just like they're using global warming now. I don't. It seems to me that climate change is real, and the, and the question is like, how much are humans affecting it? That I don't right. know. I hear so many things from like reputable sources that are both so much smarter than me. So I just try to do my like, I recycle, like I pick up trash. I I'm pretty obsessive about animals. I know you guys know that. Yeah. It's just, it's interesting that Lana is so passionate about it. Yeah, I mean, I, I was kind of feeling for her there. You know what I mean? Like, and what, what the hell is Zico Terrace doing? Blowing up a pipeline. Out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, no, in the middle of a swamp. Yeah. With like a really, uh, uh, what's the word that Lana used? Like you, you tip the balance in that, uh, in that ecosystem. Fragile. Yeah. yeah. It's a really fragile ecosystem. Like if you eliminate like a certain species of animal, it can really throw up the whole... A food chain and everything, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Right. I'm starting to notice like a theme here too of we talked about this I think back in the first season, but Lawn and Archer consistently going on these missions together. Yeah, it's really fun. Being in dangerous situations, being having to be in close proximity of one another. Mm -hmm. We know that oftentimes close proximity breeds romance. Yeah. You know, it's called the, it's called the mere exposure effect. Yeah, especially if you've had previous romance with that individual before. It's almost unavoidable. It's uh yeah. I just keep thinking to myself like, man, I feel like something's gonna happen somewhere along the way. I mean, I, I think that I think that this show is gonna start leading into that. That's what I think. I, I think they're gonna end up getting together. They might split up again. But I think the show's gonna be about their relationship. I don't think it's going to end with, you know, them being with different people. That's what yep. I think. Uh, anyways, you got anything else, bud? Nope. No, anyways. Yeah, yeah I, I agree. Guys, uh, appreciate you. If you want to support us, leave a comment down below and check out the next four episodes up right now on, on Patreon. We're out of here.